So you guys, how are you all doing? Today, I have a very stupid idea for you. And I decided to record my stupid idea because why not? I constantly record these completely normal tutorial, etc. videos, time to record. Something that I would actually do in my own time just to see if it works. So you guys remember when we installed elementary OS? Well, we installed it on a USB stick and that got me thinking. This thing has 128 gigabytes, which is genuinely more than my first SSD. My first SSD was an Intel SATA 3 SSD, I believe, and it had only 80 gigabytes. So this little thing has more. Now the speed on it, of course, isn't as fast. I believe this thing does about 120, 125 megabytes per second on USB 3.1, or at least that's the speed it transfers my files at. And that got me thinking, can we put Windows on it and then run Steam. Yes, dear friends, we are going to try to install Windows onto this USB stick and then run games on it. Now, of course, the default Windows installer will not let you install Windows onto a USB stick because it is not a hard drive. So we are going to be using a software that actually has been around for a few years. It's called Windows To Go. And I'm going to switch to my laptop right now and show you guys exactly how this works. So to make this happen, you are going to need a few things. First of all, you are going to need some sort of Windows to go creator tool. We are going to be using Rufus because I am familiar with it and I've used it before. So we are going to download that. As you can see, I already have it. Now we are going to need the Windows 10 ISO because we are actually installing Windows 10. I believe older versions of Windows also had this feature. So if you're into Windows 8, you can try it as well. But I mean, why? <laughs> So to get the Windows 10 ISO, it's actually pretty simple because Microsoft gives it to you. So what you do is you search from Windows Media Creation Tool. And this is going to bring you straight to the Microsoft website where you can download the Windows 10 ISO. You wanna click download, the tool is going to download. And from here on, you want to launch the tool because you will need to download the Windows 10 ISO. With this tool, it's actually pretty cool. You can also create a Windows 10 installer drive, just in case you didn't know that. In case you ever need the drive to fix Windows or just want to reinstall it, this is definitely the cleanest and safest way to do so. Because if you download ISOs from an unknown source, a lot of bad things can happen. Actually, Eddie, do you want coffee? We have the frozen coffee. Yes. <laughs> Here you go. Here. It's like the only coffee you like. So as you can see here, the installer gives us a few options. We can either upgrade this computer right now, but I've already done that. It's already up to date. Or you can create an installation media. That's the one we want to select. And then of course you select your options here. And here you want to select ISO file because that's what we're going to need. We don't need the USB flash drive because if you clicked USB flash drive, it would create an installer drive and not actually install Windows onto it. So we're gonna select the ISO file, place it wherever you wanna place it, and wait for the ISO file to download. I will be right back to you guys once this is done. Okay, so as you guys can see, the ISO file has been downloaded and you can see it on my desktop as windows.iso. So I'm actually going to plug in the USB stick now. As you can see, the USB stick is empty, so, I am ready to go. So now I'm going to click finish. I'm going to launch Rufus, which is again, the app that we are going to use to write the Windows to go ISO to the USB stick. So now we are going to select our disk image right here, Windows ISO. And here, standards Windows installation, we select Windows to go. And now that we have selected that, make sure that you have correctly selected UEFI or legacy. My laptop does UEFI, so I'm going to select that and let's click start. Oh, also I'm going to change the volume label to Windows. That isn't necessary, I just wanna do it. And let's click start. And now it's going to ask us which one we want to install. I'm gonna do Windows 10 Pro. Warning, all data will be deleted. Yeah, we know, it's already empty. There we go. This is going to take a while, so let's look at the time. Currently, it's 11.29. I will be right back to you guys once this extremely long process has completed. Oh. Mm. Oh, it finished, okay. Okay, guys, so it finally finished. It's now 12.47, so as you can probably tell, 
That took quite a bit longer than a standard Windows installation, but that doesn't matter because it's finally done. And I think it's time to move on to actually booting this thing. So why don't we get onto that? Okay, so the microphone quality will be significantly worsened for now because the laptop was the thing controlling the microphone but we need to boot using the laptop. So we are now going to power off and boot from the USB stick. So, you know, launch the boot menu, start spamming F12. So now I'm going to power on the laptop and start spamming F12. And now from here, I select the USB stick. And so far, so good. It actually seems that we are booting up just as if we were booting into Windows, which is amazing because we're actually booting from this USB stick, which is insane. Okay, it seems we have actually reached the setup screen, which is quite interesting. Didn't know if we would actually end up reaching this far because it was taking so unbelievably long to power up, but it does seem that we have in fact got here. So even just getting to the screen took a very long time, but hey, look, I'm gonna set this up and I will be right back to you guys with it hopefully fully set up and waiting for you at the desktop. And that's when we'll see what we are actually working with. Okay, so it took extremely long to get to this stage, but I managed to launch a few things, download Steam. I was originally going to download OBS, but everything is working so slowly that I just decided against it. So right now we have Steam because of course we are gonna try run games on this. I have all the information here, as you can see about the system. And then of course we have Task Manager open to show the hard drive here. And as you can see, it says disk C, USB, and it is constantly running at 100%, which probably tells me why it's so slow. My problem is the write speed and the read speed are set to a very weird place if they are running at 100% which probably means it's not actually running at 100%, but something is up. So we are going to try and install Steam here. I also tried launching the recording software to record on my microphone, but that wouldn't launch either. So instead, we are just going to install Steam and just go with that instead. Uh, everything, as you can see, is running unbearably slowly. Even right-clicking takes an incredibly long time and everything just freezes. So we need to be extremely careful. As you can see, explorer.exe is already restarting down at the bottom here. This is going to be a long process. I think we already know that this isn't worth it, but I just wanna know what this ends up being like. So I'm going to continue anyway, no matter how stupid it is. Okay guys, I tried, and as much as I'd love to play something like GTA 5 or The Forest on this, as you can see, I even tried downloading The Forest, but I think it was like 16 hours or something to download it. So we have Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Let's click play and see if it even turns on. Oh wow. Okay, well, I'm surprised. <laughs> it did turn on. Um, okay. That wasn't bad at all, actually. Loading time pretty much instant. I think this means, and of course, once you're in the game, there isn't any lag. So I think let's try and finish downloading the forest. Like what, what? Oh, stopping download. If it takes that long to just stop the download, I can only imagine how long it's going to take to actually download. If the hard drive is capping out at 17 kilobits per second, it's okay, 200 kilobits per second. I don't think this is very doable. It's gotten a lot more responsive though. I'll give it that. So we have about, well, two hours later and we have finally downloaded the game. Let's try click play and see how long this thing possibly takes to launch. Because we know that once it does launch, it'll run just fine, or at least it should run just fine. So the real question is how long it's just going to take to turn on. Seems that there's more content to download. So I'm gonna guess that's gonna take another while. Oh, no. Okay, 1080p, hi, that seems pretty okay. Oh, we are in game. We are actually in game. Okay, that took its time. 
So let's click on single player, new game, and let's create a normal game and see how long it takes to load. Certainly taking its time. Okay, we are in game and it is actually extremely, extremely smooth. So I'm gonna hold skip, space to skip. And uh, that was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I certainly thought this was gonna take about five minutes or so. It only took about a minute, which is of course much longer than it would take on my standard SSD. But I mean, if you are willing to wait, <laughs> Windows does run and games do as a matter of fact, run. So here you go. I think we got what we wanted from here. Uh, let's power off and roll the outro before the laptop gets too pissed. So let's go. Shut down and let's roll the outro. Okay. <laughs> so you guys, can you install Windows onto a USB stick and run apps and games? Yes. Yes, you can. It is now 6.15 and that should tell you how long it took me to download the games uh, and just install the software in general when a normal Windows installation takes about 30 minutes. So the question is, should you? No, <laughs> no, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> Eddie's there shaking his head. I mean, there's a very specific reason. I, I see, I think there would be a very specific reason as to why anyone would do this and maybe for data recovery or something. But even for that, I think you'd lose your head before you even managed to copy a file. Because as you saw, this thing was constantly at 100% at about 200 kilobits. But I mean, if you're stuck, if you have an entire PC build done, but you're missing the SSD or a hard drive, I mean, technically, it does run games. <laughs> and I mean, we ran Five Nights at Freddy's, which is a very not like a game that isn't very needy. But then we ran the forest, which does actually create game files and does have loading times. And they were bad, don't get me wrong, but they weren't that bad. Like it was playable. And I mean, 128 gigs again is still much more than I originally had on my first SSD. Uh, of course, let's not compare this to an SSD, but hey, I now have Windows on a USB stick. What I'm gonna do with it? I don't know, probably burn it. But here you go, guys. I mean, this video was probably one of the dumber ones I've ever made. Educational purposes, right? I did it so that you don't have to, or I did it so that you now want to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I got you to want to do this because this is going to hurt you mentally and physically. But hey, that was today's video. Can you do it? Yes, you can. Should you? Entirely up to you. If you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of the community, I upload tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if you would like to join said community, make sure to click the Discord server link down in the description below to join our Discord server. It's constantly growing. We have some lovely people there. We have tech support in inverted commas and a lot of great other channels where you can have a laugh, talk with people that have similar interests to you. If you guys wanna join the Reddit, make sure to do that. Also down in the description below, people keep posting spicy memes of my face on that Reddit. So if you guys wanna join that, make sure to click the link down below. And if you guys wanna be notified of future content coming up daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace. Peace.